Hello. In this video I'll show my experiments in cellular automata. In my previous two videos I already showed how I do genetic algorithms. Now you can see what can be done using some hard-coded rules. So, let's begin. Firstly, we will define a few very simple rules. You can see pink cells. It grows at one from four of random directions, but checks if there is at least six empty neighbors. Also, we add an even more simpler form of cells. Green grows despite neighbor, but can't pass through other cells. Purple is another form of pink cells, but it grows with step of two. Nothing special. Okay, what about more complex forms? I've added a snake. How snakes work, at start of existing it tries to grow up the white tail. Then it moves, sometimes turning around. However snakes aren't destructive to environment. It can't grow up a tail to already existing cells. Instead, they recognize those cells as tail and relocate them while moving. What if we put some snakes to a scene made from green and pink cells? Snakes help in spreading green. My next creation is an atom. It is made from core and shell. When atoms remain apart, they are attracted. When too close, they are pulled. Atoms' behavior is a little buggy, so they lose their shell particles. I hope. Someday I will be able to simulate real atoms and molecules. Let's now see what if we'll mix pink, green and atoms. Atoms helps to spread green, and at the end they simply mixing all the cells. Then I added a new object. This is moving cells, that removes cells in some radius from the You can notice funny tails. It's not from blue cells, it is emptiness that simultaneously are filled by green. One another sample. Hey, I just noticed how small the field is. Let's make a bigger.
Now an update. Let blue cells remove neighbors in radius that are defined by their velocity. The faster they are, the smaller radius is. Green are too fast. Pink can't take over the world. What if green will grow only half of ticks? As you can see, it doesn't help. Okay, and the video is soon. That's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like video if you liked it.